The Airbus A350 is 5 inches wider than the 787, so why are both flying with 9 abreast seating? And why does one feel tighter? The A350's fuselage is 5 inches wider than the 787, about 220 inches across. That extra space makes a big difference in economy. In a 9 abreast layout, each seat averages about 18 inches wide, meaning more shoulder room and wider aisles. The A350 was built with passenger comfort in mind, even when airlines squeeze the layout. The 787's fuselage is about 215 inches wide, originally designed for eight abreast. But most airlines install nine abreast seating, giving each seat around 17 inches or less. That extra seat means tighter shoulders, narrower aisles and a more compressed feel, especially on long-haul flights. The A350 was designed with nine abreast comfort as standard. The 787 wasn't, but airlines realized they could squeeze in one more seat per row to boost revenue. So while the A350 gives you room to breathe at nine across, the 787 pushes the limits of human elbow tolerance. Five inches might not sound like much, but it adds up across a cabin. More aisle space, more shoulder clearance, and less crowding when everyone's trying to eat, sleep, or just survive a 13-hour flight. In a nine abreast showdown, the A350 offers a noticeably more spacious ride, even in the same layout. So who got it right? Airbus, giving nine abreast room to breathe, or Boeing chasing nine abreast profits in a tighter space, your seat, your call. Would you sacrifice an inch of comfort for an airline's bottom line?